Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy joining me now as he hears me read those numbers from research. And coach, I'm going to start with something that, that hasn't been done in Stillwater in quite some time. I'm going to brag on your defense. What has led to the Big 12's best unit giving up only 12 points per game? Well, we're a mature team on that side of the ball. Uh, we've got depth. Uh, but they came together. They're, they play reckless. They fly around. They chase the football. And uh, Coach Knowles is in his third season. And um, he's gotten a little better each year at adjusting to this type of play. Uh, but guys stay uh, focused in practice. And they work hard. And we're seeing decent results at this time. It's, it's always been this thing, like, the offense has always been good. We've always said, yeah, but if they had a defense, and we're certainly seeing that this year. And you got your quarterback back last week and Spencer Sanders. What did that do for your offense and your team to have him back? Spencer's a mature player. Um, he, he gives us a little different dimension with his ability to run. Um, we relied on him last week uh, quite a bit to make plays running the football. Uh, and his leadership's been good, so it was nice to get him back in the offense. You talk about getting him back in the offense and what he's able to do for your running game. That brings up Chuba Hubbard. I just gave those numbers a second ago. How would you describe Chuba Hubbard, the player? Well, Chuba uh, is playing well the last few games. Uh, he's back to his old self. He, he does a good job of finding backside cuts. And when he gets into open space, he's, he can run really fast, and he's tough to catch. Uh, he's been a good leader for us in practice. So uh, I'm excited about watching him Saturday against Texas. Yeah, what about Chuba the person? What don't we know about him the person? Well, Chuba's traditionally very quiet. Obviously, he's from Canada, uh, made the adjustments coming down here. And, uh, you know, since he's been here, he's, he's adjusted really well and he's developed. And he's always been extremely fast. Uh, but now he's picked up some body strength and, and continued to work. And um, he's been a quiet leader for us, and he's worked really hard the last couple of months. You know, Coach, each year, every team in locker room has that defining characteristic. What is that for this year's team for you? Well, our guys have come together, uh, and, and it's really difficult to answer that. I'm in my, my 16th year as the head coach, and there's times when you don't really understand why a team doesn't come together and play hard for each other. Uh, and then there's times that they come together on their own. And uh, my best guess would be it's based on the leadership, uh, the mature players on your team that have been in big games, been in bowl games, understand what it takes to be successful. You look now around the country, it's, it's not just a thing in, in one conference or another. We've seen it at Baylor and, and other Big 12 programs that have been hit with COVID cases and cancellations. Mm -hmm. How do you monitor and discuss this pandemic and protocols with your team? Well, we talk about it every day. Uh, our medical staff here, Doc Ivan, John Stem, Scott Parker, have been fantastic. We had a plan early in the spring. Um, they laid it all out. Uh, we've been 100% in, uh, in our thought process and what we've learned. But the players have to take it upon themselves because on college campuses, we know where it's at. We, we know it's, it's out in the areas where the students are. We know it's down on the strip, places of socializing. Um, where most college kids hang out in their free time, and uh, our guys can't do that. Uh, you know, if they want to stay healthy, they want to get a chance to play, they got to stay away from it. It's extremely difficult. You know, I, I've been shocked that I haven't got it now. You know, I live at home with an 18 and 16 year old, and he's got friends. They've got friends over all the time. I'm around so many people that uh, I've been very fortunate that I haven't caught it at this time. Well, we hope it stays that way, and we hope the team has continued success and health. And, Coach, I need you to settle an argument really quick. <laughs> we just had Marcus Spears on, and we were talking, the, like, the amount of syrup on, like, pancakes and waffles. Are you a little, mm -hmm. some, or a lot? Well, I'm between some and a lot because I definitely want to yes. taste it. Now, if you're, if you're talking health-wise, probably not, but I want to taste it on there. Otherwise, I wouldn't put it on there. And I'll throw a lot of butter on there, too. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. A little bit of both. How's Coach? that? Yep. Yeah. All right, I guys. Mean, and to be frank, you're a picture of good health. So I'm going to take yeah, your response know about all that. more than I will Marcus Spears. Hey, good luck this weekend against Texas. Okay. Going to be a big one of the Big 12. Mike Gundy, head coach, Oklahoma State Cowboys, joining us this Thanks afternoon on Sports Center. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.